Hello and welcome to Epiphytic Cacti. Today I figured we would talk about the Schlumbergera hybrid, Chiba Spot. Chiba Spot is a hybrid that originated out of the Mitsuhashi nursery in Japan. When you're a collector, you do generally get kind of the unusual thing, but I actually got this and believed very strongly that I would dislike it. Every once in a while, there is something that I am convinced I will not actually like. And then, I love it. So I, 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 <laughs> I know this sounds a little bit crazy, but I mean, I actually love being wrong. Truly, I think that we should all be wrong a lot more often because, I, you know, like something like this, it's like I'm wrong, but then I get to be pleasantly surprised because I'm wrong and I enjoy that little bit of surprise that happens. And Jiba Spot did not disappoint me on this. I have said this before, I'm not the biggest fan of messy, flowers they're they're not real uniform they're just all over the place and i call them bedhead flowers this flower is not real bedheady there is a uniformity to its kind of it, it's chaos it's got a chaotic kind of appearance but it's got a, a true uniformity to it the back petals they're kind of short and stout and they have this very long kind of apex going on in the back petals just even for a normal schlumbergera that is true but then you get into where the front petals would be and some kind of mutation happened where the front petals ended up getting very, very short and stout, but then having an extremely long apex. And what it's done is given this the most fantastic and interesting shape. I've seen some gorgeous photos of this, but when you see this kid in person, man, it is just gorgeous. It kind of personifies, I think, Christmas cactus to me a little bit, just because I think that somehow this kind of unusual, unique anomaly in this shape is so festive looking. With the green branches and then the red coloration mixed with the white coloration towards the inside of the petals, it just screams Christmas. This hybrid is definitely in my list of favorites. So why don't we zoom in here and take a little bit of a closer look. We'll look at the back petals first because you can see that they're actually pretty short and squat, but then you can see that they have this, um, as they kind of go towards the center, they get this elongated kind of apex here. You can see this. And like I said, that's unusual even just for your, your standard truncata hybrids. This is a very kind of odd thing. And you can see the petals here, they are, um, it's a reddish color, somewhere in between red and orange, bordering more on the red side with a little bit of white. So if you come over here, you can see how the front side of those petals, you can see the white kind of uh, as it gets white down at the base there, and then it goes out into those long apexes. And then as it gets more towards the front petals, you can see that it gets a little bit strange and it starts kind of ruffling a little bit and then it, the apexes, the petals become very squat down at the bottom, but then they become very, very, very narrow. And then at the very ends, uh, we need to get like right up in there for those. There you go. So at the very end, you can see how it actually kind of gets a little bit wide and turns into whatever this odd little shape is that's going on right there. And you can see almost all of them do this, but you can also see that there's kind of an odd like ruffling in, in those petals. At the base, they're a little bit, they're whiter, and then they get a little bit more of this kind of like reddish, orangish color. And then right here, where it's most narrow in the petal, it's fuchsia. And then it does whatever that is. And I'm not sure if, if those are modified stamen, I'm not sure exactly what's going on with those, but they kind of look like it to me just based off of that shape a little bit, the little, the little strangeness that's going on there. But it's very unique and it's very beautiful. And as you can see here, when you look at it and you see this splay, while it seems as though there is kind of a chaos there, obviously it's not too much of a chaos because there is some a lot of consistency going through the flowers. There we go. And if we really kind of get in there in some of these and you look down in there, you can see what I mean. It, it's kind of an odd thing. There you go. Quite fascinating. 
And then you can see when you go from the side view, <laughs> the side view here, you can see these petals. They all kind of go back like this and they form a really kind of beautiful sharp star sort of shape from the front. And then these front, these narrow front petals just kind of face forward very strongly like that. I hope that you've enjoyed the Schlumbergera Hybrid Chiba Spot as much as I have. Thank you for watching and happy cacti growing.